I do not live in hope. I work to return it. Ah, oh, shit. Here we go again. It's not right fighting jocks. They do have a lot of decent CC. I can make use of unflinching. And I'm taking movement speed runes so he doesn't attack and move too much ahead of me. Because Jax has higher movement speed than York. Alright. Hello there. Ah, uh, coming up phase rush. One, one of this is uh an AP Jackson. The beyond is waiting. Oh my gosh. Good thing I didn't ignite. I'm just gonna live at war because it's unlikely that I'll have Cryo. Inline. At least if it's happening, we can see it early and make the right decision. Oh, yeah. I really like the movement speed run because it actually gives you 347 movement speed instead of 340. It seems like Jax also took that run because he has 254 movement speed. I guess he does have face rush, so it makes sense to want it to be as fast as possible. Their team is heavily AD ish, so maybe he is going AP. But they have Hakram and Yasuo. Or AD, I guess. Every works really different than uh, Ahmed, though. Actually, he is AP. I just noticed he has Doran's blade. Not blade. Doran's ring. He took a tower shot there, actually. He's actually very low. He's dead. I don't know why he did that. And he should know that I have Ignite. This is gonna be annoying, because... He's gonna be very bursty with not much counter play. I like to go airy instead of comet when I'm fighting somebody with uh, that's melee that I can't avoid, and their entire team is also pretty melee. What's one more grave? I tried it once against Jax, and it worked out pretty well. So. Because I saw their team with Yasuo Hecarim, I wanted to pick it again. I'm gonna go recall. Now then. I'm gonna buy some magic of this because his AP ratios are very bursty, like most champions that aren't supposed to be AP. If I remember correctly, his, his W or Q has an AP ratio. His on hit when he has his ultimate has an AP ratio. His ultimate itself has an AP ratio. And his E. That's gonna be damaging abilities that will basically hurt more. I may, I may be wrong though, because I don't remember if it's his Q or his W, because I know they changed it. I know they changed it. It used to be his Q and now it's his W, or it used to be his W and now it, it's on his Q. And I just don't remember which one it is anymore. I am the first and last of my yeah, he's basically gonna be abusing his E and looking at proxy. Basically the boss strategy. 
practically what I'm fighting at the moment. Sorry, you counter match up and now he's doing this. Da -da -da. At least he didn't walk up to get the plate. Didn't mean to hit that, I'll mid both of these. Let me go see him now. Didn't saw this bush. He jumps, ghouls follow him. They lose vision, they stop following. Whatever. Your end is nigh. Not down too much CS compared to him. I'm not gonna summon Maiden. So I wanna shove this out and if Hecarim is still down there with Jax, they could easily kill me. So, fuck that. If you don't feel safe, just don't summon Maiden yet. Summon Maiden when you feel safe or need her. Otherwise, you might find yourself in a position where the enemy knows you're gonna push no matter what because you have Maiden out and then they just wait for the jungle to show up and take advantage of it. Mm. I'm just gonna buy this because it's pretty cheap, and we're just gonna chill. But this item gives you 50 magic just instantly. I don't want to build into anything else. For example, this gives you 60 magic resist, so I'm only 10 magic resist away from Visage. If I feel like I don't need Visage, then I'll just buy that component. So I don't have to build two different like I normally do. Because against Jax, I like to go Cleaver first into Sky, Titanic, stuff like that. Homies are getting clapped though. That kinda sucks. Yeah, that super sucks. They scale though, but Hecarim is getting very, very odd. I missed. I gotta keep in mind this Jax is also playing a hit and a run strategy where he will jump, counter strike, and then run off with face rush. So I need to wall him more instantly. I missed. Nah, we hold here. Keep Maiden somewhat at this range. She can auto attack him. She'll take an aggro, but meh. The dead have not than nothing. forgotten. I'm gonna take any poke I can get. Ah. I'm just gonna run. He flashed. Everyone I knew is How are things with you? The only counterplay we have against him is to wall him when he jumps. So if he flashes it, we just have to run. Because when he ults, he gains more. Resistance. The funny thing is, when he goes AD, he gains more armor, and when he goes AP, he gains magic resist. Which is weird, but that's how it works. But at least he ulted, and he flashed. Ugh. Okay, you just use counter strike, and my jungles are. Nope! My guy. He should have him. Okay, so he had to ult for it. But he got him. The enemy team has a few bullshit characters. Like a hacker being very strong is very scary for us because his ultimate can fear our pets. His W will heal off our pets when he's dealing damage. So I would rather one of our other bullshit characters get a lead rather than myself, at least in this case. It's 10 minutes, so I'm just looking around to see if he's teleporting anywhere. Doesn't seem like it. Ekram is bottom. Jack should just be coming back to line. I'm just gonna 
do with these grubs. Just so we get some, because we know where the enemy will be. Why are my pets attacking the fucking scuttle, bro? I didn't auto attack the scuttle once. This will suck in general. But I, if we can get at least one or two, it's better than nothing. It's literally better than nothing. Auto attack this once. They should be able to finish it themselves. Now, thing is, I could get killed for being at this HP. I'll just have to wall myself if he does attempt to do it. I'm kinda low, bro, but I. Here we go, I guess. Yeah, he died. Well, surprised he died when he was fucking fully true. But, AP jocks. So his counter strike will actually be the main focus of his damage. But alright. SCP could be back now, so I'm not gonna greet for another plate. Wait! I'm actually very close to clearer. Fuck. My pets actually give me enough gold for it. I don't think we win this game. It's gonna be very tough. So I'll do Akram. Got him. Uh, annoying. Whatever. This Counter Strike is back. He tried to jump on me. Yeah, they just suck in general. Walk once more. Hmm. We just get some plates, I guess. Bless. Maiden actually killed him before my Q did. We get a potential to get first tower here. But I wouldn't be surprised if nice Ari's coming back. Akram just beelines the top to kill me. But I have a cannon wave, so the cannon will tank for my wave. Which allows him to get the kill. Nice. I see where everybody is. Akram is mid. Bobline's missing, but they should have just reset it. And Jax already used TP, so we can back. Now, I usually go cleaver first, but... Because of what's going on, I can't do that at the moment. Meanwhile, so I'm gonna go sky first because I'm gonna get bursted heavily. A few inches later. If, I, if I'm gonna use, lose half my HP, might as well buy sky to get the most out of its healing. It just sucks. Who has bonus? Akram, I guess Nautilus. I get stuck. I only have Maiden. Actually, I do have some ghouls with me. Okay. He runs off. I miss my wall though. He's gonna kill me. Bruh, I only live because of this guy. This guy came back to give me the heal. Because my Q wasn't gonna be up. But I did miss my wall. <sighs> Look at this dude. <laughs> How funny it is, though, that he can go full AP, no HP, bars? And that still looks close. Because I did land my second E. Now they're a prison. Stupid, but I, I didn't have a night that, that time either, so. Should be fine. Might as well keep going, bro. 
Oh no. Gotcha. Nice. Of course, your ears back. Oh, we missed. Her karma damage. Right. Can we not, bro? Jeez. Oh, shit. Shit, this is not the way I wanted to bat. I wanted to walk around here and go there. Nice. Oh. If, if I go Jack Show with these two items, Clear and Sky, I should be fine for the rest of the game. And I can just get Jack Show into uh, Visage. Since I do have Sky. So it wouldn't be bad at all. Oh, he flashed. Jeez. You just look on AP to nuke people. Actually, that. Not bad. I was too focused on running to the Baron, and maybe we could do it. But Karma is busting. I released Maiden as well in the middle of that, so she can keep pushing bottom. Damn! How much damage did uh, Harry deal at the moment? Almost 1k, 900 so far. <laughs> He's fucking glass cannon. That is coming mid. To destroy the I walled because I wanted him to. Shit. I can wall his rift. Yeah. Completely fuck. Only Yorick, Yorick, Trundle, and Anivia can do that. Yeah, I'm definitely going Jack Show. I got the pink, but ah, let me go drop this pink at the Baron. Carefully. I get killed by them. Nice. Got his ultimate. Actually, I should have stayed for like 200 gold. Well, Alright, I got TP at least. I'll go bottom, get the gold, and... That died looks illegal as fuck. I should have just also taken that before I left. Alright. Put this here in case he tries to hide in it. And go somewhere. What's one more Report me. Money. I shut out Jaksha when I reach base. <clears throat> I got the if they are on it. Guess they are on it. Bro, 
I'm literally just stuck in place. This never ends. Whatever. Let him do what he wants. Yeah. Oh gosh. But we can. Well, you gotta get rid of that, though. Just a matter of getting him out of the way. I don't have a word to check over the wall. I can wall off one side. I don't think he's gonna die. Nice. Hmm. Bless. It's back in this way, so I get some pets and some will keep pushing. Maybe I just buy executioners now. Good to know that, that actually would have hurt. No! She's dead. Not all this old kills. This kind of sucks. I don't think we can. We just have to go. Not worth it. We will lose our burn. Wait, are we? He's here. He's here. We should be fine to walk a mid now. Siege should be fine. I actually hit him. Nice. Bro, I'm lagging. I'm lagging. Oh shit. I'm dead. I'm too close to the tower. Ah. I shouldn't have walked up after I walled him at all. What a character. The tower did too much to me and I was too close to Kitebot. Saj, maybe Sterox. So we don't get blown up. Hmm, Sterox and Visage. They're, st they're still mostly AD. I don't think, yeah, I don't need an uh, additional MR item. That just sucked. The Nautilus didn't even die for that. Yeah, so ult into the Hecarim Fear. I want to go there and get that tower, but I would die right after. It's not worth it. That was my first death, to be honest. That means I had a big, big bounty. Fuck. And all that went to Akram. Damn. I mean, you gotta go, man. Gotta. I to actually kill them. I can defend this tower. 
that's unlucky not. Nice. I gotta go defend here though. Leave the Nexus R because I don't have Wave Spirit, but it's fine. Armor, oh, you're really a one piece of a work of a champion. My gosh, bro. Heal and shield 24-7 is the most cringe shit in the world. Like, I literally almost died to just that. At least we live, bro. Uh, Jax killed Maiden. Understandable. Yeah, we get this. Sell this. Uh... Just buy this and this. I mean, I got TP, but I don't know the Jack's TP thing. through here and that's GG didn't even get to use the Starox but bless we can get the tower the rest of it ah, not so much staggered my auto attack there at the end but it open nexus now so that's good oh no Hmm. Maybe you can catch him off. Maybe. Okay, if they if they don't do it, then it's fine. Now down. Yeah, we're taking a lot of magic damage. I think I will actually just get Visage. We can't disrespect Karma like that. Now you're on it and... Good luck, I guess. Well, he thought the game would've just ended there. I guess they give. It's fine. Because if he goes in, Hecarim can fear, Nautilus can ult, Yas can ult off that, and Jack still has to stun. So I'm low-key thinking about releasing Maiden. Just to stall for time. I feel like they need to go top. I don't think Maiden will be a threat, but fuck it. He just needs to hold. Smolder is stacked up already as well. We just wait until the enemy... Looks to siege. Maiden is there, so 
Maybe it helps. Oh. No, it doesn't. From the ground. Maybe a bit of distraction. And to it. Maybe. I thank you for your help. Is on. Hmm. Yeah, it's not worth it, especially if Jax TPs and looks to flank. Hey, broker. You don't want this? on me too to be honest it does inside our base mm. I'm gonna go inside their base myself actually mm. I hope breaker in this guys and this here we go attack this and we keep walking we just keep walking Auto Q, auto, 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 auto Q, and that's GG baby, all breaking their bussy. Ah, bless, GG. Thank you guys for watching. Let's see how much Aerie did at the end there. Mm -hmm. GG. Let's see how much Aerie did. Ari did 2k damage, see? Ari is not troll. It can work against multiple melee matchups. Or if you're gonna be in team fights, which I didn't want to be there, but I was ahead, so I had to be there. It can work out because it doesn't work the same as Comet, where each auto attack lowers Comet's cooldown, but if we're close enough, Ari will jump back and forth between me and the enemy constantly in a fight, and that will basically proc more times than Comet would proc and pro and, and Comet can miss and Aerie can't miss so yeah at the end there I had to sell Sterax to get Hullbreakers just so we can deal more damage to the Nexus I hoped that I had enough to buy it but we didn't I could have also like sold something else like I could, I could have sold Sky realistically yeah I, I could have sold Sky to then get Hullbreaker and keep Sterax Maybe that would have been better because I think Sterax gives more value there. But it works out in the end. Maybe maybe if I was really low, I could have just auto-attacked the Hecarim and Yasuo to heal as well. So I think it works out either way. GG. Giving honor to player with types GG easy. I already give him the honor, bro. I can't control that shit. <laughs> the GG. I go. Water for the living. Shuttle for the dead.